um, let's um, get cracking with a spot of um, Boom Beach Day 2. Okay, so Boom Beach Day 2. Yesterday was our first ever day on Boom Beach, and it was all about the upgrades. It was all about getting these kind of basic buildings down. It was all about getting a bit of coin flow, getting a bit of a small bit of defense going. And uh, as you can see, I've, I've harvested a whole bunch of the trees around the edge to give me some wood to kind of get the upgrades flowing. I have been attacked once, and I lost. Uh, but we haven't got many defenses in at the moment uh, anyway. But we have maybe haven't got that much to steal, so it's not too much of a problem at the moment. However, defense is now so now we are at the stage where we can get attacked by other human players we do need to start thinking about defense on day two we also um, if I take us over to the compass now have the opportunity to attack other human players as well you see the ones here with like a little red um, kind of uh, human sh or person shape over the top those are not just other AI locations they are human people and the game carefully picks people that are of a of a, of a suitable um, difficulty or comparison um, to you so therefore um, you know you, you are kind of entering the game kind of proper here keep a lookout of course when you are um, expanding the map which you can do with coins and by upgrading the radar um, for those um, uh, diamond um, based um, chests as well which obviously allow you to kind of speed things up and and um, because I upgraded my um, uh, my base to level three uh, which was the last thing I did last night headquarters sorry um, that has given me um, a, a, the new ability to use flares which is what I want to show you today is our main little tip um, for um, for this day two, because now you really, we really can um, start to bring in. Um, uh, we really can start to bring in some um, strategy um, now with this um, particular game. Now, when you when, before you go into a base, always scout first, because if you take, a, if you have a good look at the base, and you think you know what, there's no way I'm going to be able to take this base. Um, then don't, you know, but if you if uh, if you go straight in with the attack button, you haven't got a choice. You're there, and you've either got to get a retreat or or you'll lose the coins because it costs coins to attack, and you don't have a limitless amount. So always scout, have a look at it, and you can do other things with scouting as well. Now, for example, have a look at this. If I click on this mortar, you can see first of all what it is, and then while you're learning the game, it's important to kind of go well, what exactly is this enemy, and what exactly is that enemy. Um, but you can also um, see the ranges of each particular um, enemy so for example you can see exactly where the sniper uh, range goes up to and you can see exactly where the mortar range goes up to which means that when we're kind of planning our attacks we can kind of see well is there a way to attack the mortar without being in range of the sniper tower and or vice versa and things like that now the new thing that the item that we got from being on level three in terms of the attack side of things was flares now flares allow us to um attack um, particular angles um, to direct our troops to an, a specific building or to a specific direction. Now, of course, flares take ammo, and uh, you gain ammo by destroying buildings. So if I just show you, um, just show you um, the, the overall ammo, where, where you get it from, you start off with your basic ammo, which you get from your artillery boat here, or gunboat, sorry, and if I click there, you can see at the moment I have, they call it energy, but let's call it ammo, I think it sounds more like ammo, doesn't it? Um, it's uh, 16, uh, 16 ammo, and every mission I will start with 16 until I'm able to upgrade it, um, which I will do once uh, my current upgrade is here, and you'll start each attack with um, that default amount, but you can get more is the thing you can get more by destroying um, various um, by by destroying kind of their various buildings so if we go back um, to that that one that we were just looking at which I think was uh, clean cut let's have a quick look yeah you can see here that there are these barreled objects out here which are away from the defenses now just for argument's sake if we now come in from the left and destroy those items first we can actually get ourselves some extra attack points uh, some extra ammo to help us clear out the rest of the base let's try that so we're going to go into attack it's going to cost us 310 gold and you can now see the flares icon see that on the bottom right next to the artillery shell so i'm going to bring in my little dudes um, right over here in the corner 
and they are going to automatically go after the nearest thing, which means these barrels here. Now watch, as this blows up, you'll see, look at that, you see that? I've now got 19 of those um, of, of in, in ammo. Now I've got 22, so it's going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. All right, now, as we get closer and closer to the sniper, we need to start thinking about um, directly targeting it, because what we don't want to do is, is sitting in range of it without actually attacking it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the flare, and now I'm going to click the sniper. And that means that all of my troops are now going uh, to uh, come straight in on that sniper straight away. It doesn't matter what they were shooting before, they all come. Now, you can't say, I want this one and not that one. It has to be just the one. I'm also going to use uh, my artillery um, to help support this particular attack here and now I'm using another flare, my second flare, to tell all of my troops to now come and attack um, the, the mortar shell here. Luckily my little guy has just survived and of course if I want to actually speed up the, the end of the, uh, the mission itself you can see my heavy at the moment is shooting down whereas all the other troops are shooting up so just bring in one more flare, shoot at the, the headquarters, he'll turn round and all of my remaining firepower will be focused on there because once there's no defence there's not really any point because you don't keep any of the extra energy you get. You see at the moment I'm on 23 um, uh, ammo but that's not going to stay it isn't like one of those resources like wood or gold where you keep it between um, uh, but between missions it is, li it is only for this particular attack as far as I um, understand it so it, 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 you might as well spend everything you have on every single attack obviously don't spend them on the first um, half of the attack if you think you might be any chance at all you'll need them later on but that you're, it's not a resource that you can that you will run out of and as you can see, there we've got a nice little selection of gold. And of course, because we had no casualties at all, we're ready to attack again straight away, which is fantastic. So let's go into another little mission. Of course, let's scout first. And let's check it out. And look, we can do exactly the same thing again. This is the importance again of the flares. If I just dumped my troops on the beach, they would attack these first three first and uh, while that big uh, what is it it's a cannon uh, is attacking it and you can see that obviously that the, the those barrels with all within range of that cannon but by using a flare and telling all of my troops to go directly for um, the cannon um, will um, help to keep them alive so let's let's, let's do that let me, let, let's use all everything we've got so far um, to kind of get this working I'm going to send the heavy in from the left I'm going to send my other troops in from the right um, so heavy, the heavy can kind of soak up the damage, and then I'm going to launch a flare, and I'm going to tell all of them to focus in on that defence there. And I'm also going to send in some artillery shells as well to kind of support them. I've got 11 left of the the ammo, so I might as well keep using it because remember they don't actually serve any other purpose. And then we got we took out we took out the only defence that the base has. Um, we did lose the heavy, which was a shame, but it'll only take us a few minutes to kind of get him back. But overall, the the battle will be will be a complete victory. And of course, if you want to finish off the mission a bit more quickly, uh, we can support it using um, artillery shells. And I've used the flare there to target my men back towards the headquarters quarters um uh, to, to to finish it off. So here you can see on Boom Beach Day 2 we have already hit a far higher level um, of tactics and strategy. It's no longer a case of just dumping guys on the beach and kind of saying, oh I hope they do alright. Um, it's now a proper uh, it's a war soldier. You know, you've got to think where you're going to place them and then keep directing them and then keep supporting them with your artillery shells and your flares, um, keeping them away from danger and um, going towards. Um, there, I'm sure there would have been a way of doing that mission without losing the heavy as well so you know the my, my tactics still need work as well and maybe you could I mean, think that one through you know what would have been the way of doing it without losing that last um, particular um, soldier uh, my mission today is going to be obviously to accumulate gold to take down missions I may take on my first human or I might take I might save that pleasure um, for um, tomorrow's video log but of course I will keep um, trying to upgrade everything I've got to unlock new abilities and to unlock new thing new things um th there isn't necessarily a reason to wait to attack other humans because um the the game will balance the other humans based on your current level every day so just because um you don't have i mean it, you might kind of think oh i won't attack him yet because i'm not ready but actually tomorrow's opponents will be tougher so bear that in mind you might as well if you've, if you've got the resources and you've got the men made and you don't want to attack the ai 
you know, have a go. You know, use, especially now you've got those flares. Put the strategy together and see what you can come up with. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please um, you know, give the um, the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're watching on um, the Twitch live cast, thank you so much for joining me um, for this. And why don't you come and join us on the live stream? Um, if you're watching on YouTube, it's over on twitch.tv um, slash the Adipose TV. And of course, if you follow my Twitter, you'll make sure you get the latest updates as well. So that is my Boom Beach log. Day two. Take care. Bye-bye.